Hey guys, it's me, Liz, from Elizabeth Does Flosstube. Um, this is going to be a quick little intro. Um, I rearranged my furniture in my room uh, Thursday or Friday. Um, so I figured I would give you a quick little tour of my new setup. It's pretty much the same. I just switched the bed and the sewing table, switched their sides. Um, I have a reason I'll tell you in the video. So I'll be right back. Okay, so here is my new setup. My room is still kind of a disaster, but, and I wish I had a before picture. So my bed used to be along this wall and then my sewing table was over here. Um, and then that I just was able to push over. Um, so I switched those two because I want to get a new fish tank. So this is my 29 gallon tank. Um, and that stand that it's on is actually a table that I made. I'd made it a long sofa table and then cut it down and made it so it's my aquarium stand. Um, so the top of it, I actually wood burned a picture on, but... Obviously, you can't see it because of the fish tank now, but so there's a new tank I want to get, and it will go there, and then the sewing table will go, so it's in the middle of the window. So that was the main reason I moved my, everything, but um, I also, in the wintertime, with my bed in that corner, it gets really cold because that's the outside corner, obviously. But I also was able to hang up some stuff. So I hung up this diamond painting that I did. See how sparkly? And then I hung that guy up. I rolled my quilt up so it's shorter. And then that is my shadow box that I got. And my lucky cat and my lucky cat doll. We'll both go in there. Um, and then that is a custom diamond painting I had done from me and on AliExpress, but it's Zelda Twilight Princess. So then I was able to move that little picture over so it showed. And then I moved my diamond painting pens over here. There's Mr. Octopus again. And then, um, so the fish tank, the top of it will be about this high. So there's the bottom of that shelf. So it's going to go there. So the jackalope will have to move somewhere else. But <sighs> I wasn't able to get the fish tank right now, so it'll have to wait. But there we go. Um, there's my many, many whips, and then a couple of restarts and a new start. I'll talk about that in the boss tube video. So there we go. Back to the other video. Okay, guys. So I figured I would let you know. Um, I use this app called Magic Plan, uh, and it's really for like if you need to plan on building something or whatever but I've used it several times um to rearrange my furniture and Maggie's furniture uh you basically you put in the dimensions of your room and then there's objects that you can put in like your furniture and then you can change the dimensions of those pieces of furniture too so you can see how your stuff is gonna go and you can put in like the windows and everything and then once you've done it, you can do like a 3D view so you can see how things are going to look in your room. So I have a 3D view of my before room with the old fish tank and then a 3D view of this setup with the newer fish tank that I don't have yet. Um, so I figured you guys might like to see that too. So I'm going to insert those here. So the first one will be the before and then it'll switch to the after.
Okay, so here we go. Um, I have only a few whips and I got my stuff set up for Mania. So let's see. Yeah, two whips and a new start. That's it. I didn't stitch much um, because the one day I moved all my furniture and that day I also changed the water in my fish tank. So I was pretty much beat by three o'clock. Um, so on Monday, after I did my floss tube, for the rest of the day I worked on the myths and legends. And I had said in the floss tube that I was going to try to get that, um, the three diamonds that are connected done. And I did. Um, so here's where it was at that last floss tube. And then here is where I got to. So I did. I finished the leaf or flower or whatever you want to call that. Um, so that was pretty exciting. I did 622 that day. Oh, I have three whips. So I finished that. And I really wanted to keep going, but I was trying to figure out what should go in these three. Because it's set to be these apples, but then there's apples farther down. And then there's flower, two sets of flowers up there. And I, so basically I was trying to figure out what I was putting there. But really pretty. Like I say every time. Um, then after that, for two days, I worked on my Hufflepuff crest. Just because I hadn't picked it up in so long. So... Here is where I got to on that one. So I worked on that Tuesday and Wednesday, 316 stitches and then 368 stitches. Um, so here's where it was before. This one's a little hard to see um, because the light yellow is very light. But here is where I got to. Oh, you can see it. So there's a real pale yellow that fills this in. So I filled in a bunch of that, but it's still empty over here. But I did finish filling in the whole top of the badger. So the top part's done of the badger and then just a little bit more of the yellow in the banner. So I just hadn't picked that one up in a while, so I figured I'd better pick it up. Um, so that was pretty cool. Ooh, sorry. It is. Sorry. It's Saturday. I'm trying to get this done. I got up early. Maggie decided she wanted to sleep with me last night. And since tomorrow is her birthday, we've been kind of doing big things for her birthday weekend. So she slept with me last night. So I didn't sleep very well. Um, after that, I did Halloween Quaker, but I don't, I, I wrote down 86 stitches and I don't think it was 86. I'd say it was more like 46. I think I got those mixed up. Um, it's hardly even worth showing. So here's where it was. And here's where I got to. I was working on that flower. That's the day that I moved all the furniture and everything. So it's like I started working on This is the Smoke Color by uh, Classic Color Works. It's really pretty. It's like a steel gray and a light gray, like mixed together. It's really pretty. So, I mean, it's hardly even worth mentioning that one. <laughs> That's not going to go there. It's going to hit the thing. Um, and then yesterday, I have a new start. Um... So this is the one I'm doing for Maggie. So let's see. I've got a picture in here. Of course it's going to be. Oh, okay. Okay. 
Oh, here it is. Um, so it's really supposed to be a wedding kind of thing, but I thought it'd be really cool to do it for like her birthday. Um, so it's this one. And then instead of being wedding, I'm just gonna put Magdalena. I'm gonna put her name, her full name, and then her birthday. So I started working on that yesterday. And I did, what did I say? 176, 172, something like that. 173, 173 stitches. So it's not much. And then this fabric is tea tree from x Designs. Yeah. So not much of a start. And this is uh, my first time really using a Q-snap. So, so there it is. It's just the flowers, like the outside petals of the sunflower in the bottom. But it's really pretty. And this tea tree has like it's like pink and green and it's really pretty. I thought that would work. Um, so there we go. That's my new start. And then I'm using my Adam Hart Mother cross stitch. And she calls these thread chips. So they're like the Annie's Keepers. And then this slot is where you throw your little extra bits. So that was my first purchase from her and I was super excited. Um, and I posted it on uh, Instagram and tagged her that I got them and everything. And, and I said, one of them was broken when I came, but it's fine, it's no big deal. She actually messaged me and was like, it is a big deal. Give me your address and I'll send you a replacement. It's not, co it's not okay that that broke. And I'm like, it's fine. I'll just use it as a keychain or something. It's fine. Um, so that was pretty cool. Um, so that's it. That's all of my whips. Now, another day, I didn't do a lot of stitching. It was because I spent the day gritting fabric and getting stuff ready for my restart mania. So I have three projects that I'm gonna restart for mania because I don't want to start a whole bunch of new things. I've got these three things that I've been wanting to restart and I just haven't. Um, so I am going to do that for Mania. Since I didn't do Mania last year because I just started cross stitch and I didn't even know about it. But here they are. Hold on, let me move my trash can. Like I said, my room is still kind of a disaster from moving everything. I have to figure out where everything is going to go now. So there's one two and three and then I also have um, that new start and then also for the under the sea uh, frosted pumpkin um, stitch along I went ahead and got my fabric ready for that too because we're the second part just uh, dropped the other day so figured I better better get going so got my fabric ready again big Q snap um, seems okay so far I haven't stitched yet though but um, I like it and it'll be a cheaper way of getting things I think um, so that's the official needle minder and so that's that one so that'll probably start I guess I kind of have to start it today. Um, not really. I'll probably just wait until after the third part drops. Because the parts that are dropping are really small. So, shouldn't be that big of a deal to catch up. So, here's my restarts. Let's get those pictures up. Actually, I could probably just insert the picture, huh? But, um... stitch okay so the first one I'm going to restart is 
my Art Deco Lady by Vibsters. And that I'm doing on the same fabric that I'm doing that Halloween Quaker. It's the uh, Fabric Flare and it's Twilight Dot Dyed Effect and it's the Sparkle. Um, so it's printed on the fabric and I cut along my line so I know this side is straight but look how crooked it is. It's like when they print it, it's like they just shove it in there and print. They don't make sure it's straight or anything. So I, I, I assure you, it is straight and it is gridded straight. So that's the fabric it's going to be on. So I think that'll be pretty cool. And then for that one, um, basically what I'm doing is I'm not stitching that dark background. I'm just using this as the background. Um, that saves me like 8,000 stitches. Um, and then for the moon is like a light gray. I'm going to use the 415 Etoile. So the moon will be sparkly. So pretty excited. Um, so that's that restart. And then I also... I'm going to restart my Merida. Oh, um, here's a picture of where I was on the Art Deco Lady when I decided I was going to restart her. And then the next one I'm going to restart is my Giant Merida. Um, and then this one, the picture itself is round, but they stitch the whole thing, like they stitch the corners too. So I'm just going to do the round. Um, but unfortunately that means I have to start in the middle because I can't tell where the outside of the circle is. So um, this is a fabric that I got from G Gibraldi's, I think it's Gibraldi um, on Etsy. Um, it was kind of annoying to grid this. Um, and I tried to, I was going to restart this right away as soon as I got this fabric. I've had this fabric since almost since I stopped the original. But it was such a pain. My heat erase pens, the white on this, it's like you draw it, but you can't see it for a few seconds. So it's hard to grid because you can't see where you've been. Um, so this took a long time to grid because... I had to like draw the line and wait for it to show up so I could draw the next line so I could, you know, it took forever. But so here it is, it's a dark blue. I think it was called Midnight. Um, and it's, it's cool, it's just like a dark, dark blue. So here's where I, what baby? Okay. Um, so here's where it was when I decided to restart it. And it really wasn't far at all. But, um, so that's that. So this is going to be on that. So that's that. And then the third restart, I kept the paper here. This is this fabric is from Vintage Needle Arts. It's called Black Magic. And again, this was the same deal. Uh, since it's dark, I had to like draw the line and wait for it to show up, and draw the next line and wait for it to show up. Um, so this is oh, this is going to be my Harry Potter. Oh, I did not mean to do that. Okay, so the giant Harry Potter by Clouds Factory. So this is the top and I'm just gonna start at the top and work my way down this time instead of starting in the middle and then moving up. So this fabric, everyone seems to be doing it on a light fabric 
but then stuff doesn't seem to show up very well. So I decided I was going to try it on a dark fabric. So this one's called, like I said, Black Magic from Vintage Needle Arts. So that everything will really show up on this. Um, and then obviously, hopefully they, they, the guy that makes them is going to like that. Uh, that X there is where I was counting because I count from the middle so I know I get the right amount. Um, but this is really nice fabric too. Um, it's weird on the back. It's like shiny where they must have ironed it or something. I don't know. But so that's going to be that one. And obviously that one I had a lot done on because um, I did the whole middle section. And I'll put a picture of that. And then when I finished that, I scrolled to the top to do the top. And then there's where I was on that one. So I had like, I don't know, 18,000 stitches in it already. A lot. <laughs> Where'd you go? Oop, that's not it. I saw the long strip and I thought that was it. Uh, you have 15,661 stitches already done when I decided I wanted to start it over it's just so I would enjoy it more so that's a big restart but like I said I think this is all I'm gonna work on in May are these restarts and I might restart my that stamped cross stitch that I had gotten from tapestry market he's in it's in here So that's this guy and this is my very first cross stitch so uh, but now I know that tapestry market this is all stolen art because this is from this pattern is from soda stitch so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna restart it and I'm just gonna buy it from soda stitch and do it as a counted cross stitch so it's really cool and then the really neat thing is, since this was my very first, you can see my progression on the backs. Like, this is my first part. And then I had worked it a little bit, so I was getting a little better. And then by the time I got to this, my back was much cleaner. So, um, I don't know. But I think I really want to do it so it looks better. So I'm going to do the... I'm gonna actually get it from Soda Stitch on Etsy. Uh, so I don't know if I'll restart that now, but I'm gonna restart it next time I wanna pick it up. And then I vaguely wanna restart my Big Trouble in Little China and Fifth Element, but I think next time I decide I wanna work on it, that's when I'll restart it. I'm not gonna restart it right away. Cause these three are the big ones that I really wanted to restart. So in May, I'm gonna work on Pretty much just those. I'll probably work on the myths and legends too, just because I like that one so much. Um, so that gets us into haul. And um, I have some jewelry coming today. It's out for delivery. And then I have my new earrings are coming Monday, hopefully. And then this is crazy. I'll show you a picture. <laughs> I ordered a case to fly a case for my phone and I'm hoping that with that I won't have to take it out of its case to film because that sound um, but I'm gonna keep my waterproof case because obviously when and if we get to go down to Florida I'm gonna need a waterproof case and this summer if we go to the beach um, Deer Creek I'm gonna want a waterproof case so I'm still keeping that. It's just, I wanted a new case. So I ordered one from Casetify. And I used to work, get stuff from them, like, I don't know how many years ago. So it started in New Jersey. For some reason, they sent it across the country to Washington State. And now it's headed back to me. So it, it went way on the other side of the country before it came my way. So... It's on its way. Who knows when we'll get it. But, um, so, 
I'll show a picture of what I ordered. Um, the other haul, like I said, so Maggie's birthday, sorry. But, hold on. Okay. Um, so, uh, like I said, tomorrow is Maggie's birthday. And last year, she got Toothless from Build-A-Bear, and she's been wanting the White Dragon too, the White Fury. So yesterday, because I knew weekends are going to be crazy busy there, so yesterday we went and got her the White Dragon. So I'll insert a picture. And the best part is the name. So you go in and you have to, like, put in the info in the little computer so you get a birth certificate at the at the end when you check out so I said what's her name gonna be is it sweetie and she's like yeah and then she's like no it's boo boo bat boop and I'm like what boo boo bat boop I'm like that's what you want it to say yeah I'm like okay boop boo boo now what is it bad bad boo no bat boop so that's what the birth certificate says oh I'm sorry so then you do everything, you come up to pay, and they're like, oh, did you do the birth certificate? And I said, yeah. And she said, well, what's the name on it? And I said, well, tell her, Maggie. <laughs> yep, she told the lady, boo boo bat boop. So there you go. <sighs> Silly. But toothless is just toothless. So another piece of haul is I got a new plant. Oh, I got a couple new fish. Uh, she earned a fish from getting enough stars last week. So she got a f dwarf flame grommy. And then a couple days ago, I got a peacock eel and a turquoise rainbow fish. Um, and then I also got a new plant for my tank. I'll insert a picture of the fish tank. Um, this is gonna go in the vase because the red flat, the red leaves that are in there are kind of falling apart because they've been in there for so long. So I got these to replace those. Um, then I got some thrift store stuff. Is it eight thread? Um, this was a save the stitches kind of thing. It's got glitter all over it. Nice. Um, and I, they had like three that this person had done, but this one really caught my eye and I wanted it for Maggie's room. But they had it professionally framed, it's so pretty. So it says SJE 1999. And it's so cute and I just love the colors. So, but like I said, there was like three of them that this person had done and they were all framed the same because they were from the same series. So the colors were all kind of the same. They're like quilt blocks, but I saw that and I'm like, oh my God, I love it. And then I got frames to frame stuff, to finish stuff. This, I didn't really care about the thing in the middle, but I thought it was a cute frame. Cause it's like painted burlap and I figured what I could do is um, finish something and then just stick it to this board so it kind of floats but I like the little hearts and the little lines I thought it was really cute and then they happen to have one of these guys from Michael's the sectional frame kits so this will make a 8 by 13 inch frame I figured why not for two do two dollars each so four dollars for a frame can't pass that up usually they have like one part of them but they don't have the other parts it's like you can't do anything with one side of a frame and then I got a couple uh, pins that I figured I could turn into needle minders so this one I just thought, you know, it's a bee. And then this guy, uh, I had to get 
just because it's a Buckeye. I'm not big on Ohio State Buckeyes, but I'm in Ohio. Yeah, just don't push on it. It's a little pin. I figured that'd be cool as a needle minder. Inform delivery. Hmm. And then I got um, the big Chronicles of Narnia. It's the whole whole series for five bucks. I've never read them. And then this frame, again, this was one that they had two of. And uh, I feel like this is like an Ikea frame, but I'm not sure. Um, but they had two of them. And I thought it was kind of a cool idea. So it's a frame, but what you, it's got like a slot in the back. So you can change out the pictures. So like you can put a picture in there and then when you change your mind, you can take that picture out and put it in without having to like unframe everything. So I thought that was pretty cool. And I thought I'd be able to put a cross stitch in there. And it's got like this light pink gingham. I don't know. But you can hang it this way or this way. So, again, just thought I had to have it. I think that's it. Yeah. Um... Did order a new mattress. Oh, this guy. This I saw it was um it's a kit, but someone stole the floss out of it. But it's for this greeting card. So it comes with a little piece of Ada, a needle that's all rusty, and then like the little frame, so you can send them the frame too, I guess so they can turn it into an ornament. I thought he was cute. Um, I wouldn't do the joy, joy, joy at the bottom though. I'd just do the reindeer. But I thought he was cute. <laughs> yeah. So that's it. And like I said, I also got a mattress. And I got some shoes. And I got something for my mom for Mother's Day. Which is really nice. Um, so that's it. At some point today, I have to go to the store and get some cupcakes. I printed out some bluey things. And I made like a little banner. I'll put a picture up. And then I also got these little cup, printed out these cupcake toppers. And then, oh, here's another piece of haul. The little photo album. Um, and then I printed these guys out so you can make these little hats. <sighs> Seems really com like way more complicated than I thought. But and I got construction paper just to make these. But now I don't feel like I want to make them. Oh well. Um, so that's it. I will see you guys next week. And I'll have some Mania uh, whips next week. Um, so that's it. I will see you guys next time. Happy stitching. <laughs>